what's up it's your boy 24 7 here with 24 7 fusion media and i came across this article and i thought what a better way to start the day than to receive hopefully this is true but to receive news that carl urban is back as judge dread so as the title of this article reads exclusive Dread 2 with Carl Urban back in development. Dread 2 is moving forward with Carl Urban cast in the titular role. So, this has been put out for a couple of days now. And things have slowed down just a bit. It's about the best time to relinquish some good news. There have been rumors that the Judge Dread franchise was set to continue as a new series was being discussed called Judge Dread Mega City 1. Yeah, actually, I did a video on Mega City 1 that it was something that was a brewing, but ever since that video might have been maybe a, roughly about a year ago, nothing else has come from it ever since. So now this is the first piece of news that we're getting with anything related to Judge Dredd. So let's see what else is going on. However, there have been no mention of who was going to be cast in the titular role also leaving behind the idea that a sequel to the hit Dread movie was also not going to happen. Now, through sources uh, that Giant Freak and Robot is claiming that they have, they're reporting that Dread 2 is moving forward with Carl Urban. So, hopefully this is true. Because, to be real, even in a bullshit website, sometimes... They're known to put out at least a morsel of truth every now and again. And hopefully this is one of those times. It's not often that a reboot is seen as a better version than the original movie. But that's not the case for Dread 2012. Urban came into a role of Judge Dread in a big way. Making a lot of people forget about the Sylvester Stallone led 1990s movie. That's not to say that Stallone was terrible in that role. But Dread 2 moving forward with Carl Urban is far more exciting to think about. Hmm, interesting. You know, if anybody's watched the Sylvester Stallone Judge Dredd movie, if you ever read the Judge Dredd comic books, World of Mega City 1 and Sylvester Stallone's movie looked exactly how Mega City 1 would look like in the comic books. Now, the perfect Judge Dredd movie would be if you took Carl Irving, his script, everything else, and you put it in the set of Sylvester Stallone's Judge Dredd movie, you would actually have, you know, the better script, the best actor put into a setting that really looked and felt like it was Mega City 1. You'll have the best of both worlds. But that's my opinion. Dread 2 bringing back Carl Urban is also exciting as the man had been campaigning to return to the role recently during the GQ videos on YouTube where stars break down the most iconic roles. Urban stated he had hoped he was going to be called about being Judge Dredd again but would also be happy just seeing the franchise move forward. This also begs the question about Urban's role in future Judge Dredd projects like the previous mentioned Mega City 1. Hmm. Well to be honest, why not do both? You know, if you really want to gauge if Mega City 1 would be something worth doing or not, why don't you just do Dread 2 with Carl Irving and that should give you your answer on whether you should do Mega City 1. Dread came out in 2012. I could honestly say in the last 10 years it has received a cult following. So people that had their chance to watch it on DVD, Blu-ray, so on and so forth, actually love this movie. They love this character and they love... Carl Irving in the role of being Judge Dredd. So, let's see. Dredd 2 securing Carl Urban could mean that is meant to portray Judge Dredd in the expanded universe that seems to be getting put together. Urban has been fantastic as Billy the Butcher in The Boys for Amazon Studio, so the powers that be would know that he can carry a show without issues. This Dredd 2 sequel could lead to Urban taking on the role for the series as well, which could also be fantastic news. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Let them do both. 
I can't see the boys lasting too much longer. So he's eventually going to be needing some work pretty soon. Let's get him into Mega City 1. But the fact that hopefully he's back at, as Judge Dredd. Fuck yeah. I, I'm ready to see more of that. And don't forget to bring back the people that made the first movie as well. So, uh, all right, let's see what else is going on. Urban was so good in the role of Judge Dredd that he did not even need to remove his helmet to showcase his acting prowess. The grimace on his face and his attitude and mannerisms were enough to sell the audience on his being perfectly cast in the role. Yeah, that's the thing. People are so sick of watching these actors, you know, fucking take off their fucking helmets during these shows or these movies. And people don't want to see that shit. People don't want to see Boba Fett with his helmet off. People don't want to see the Mandalorian with his helmet off. People don't want to see Master Chief with his fucking helmet off. People hate when Spider-Man takes off his fucking mask in front of people. People hate to see when fucking when Batman does that shit. Man, Batman doesn't take his mask off in front of fucking nobody. Only few people that he trusts. But then you put him in these fucking movies, he's fucking taking off his mask in front of anybody. Like dumb shit. So, let's watch Judge Dredd and not him with his fucking helmet, I mean, or whatever fuck you want to call it. Let's just watch Judge Dredd the way he was in Dredd 2012. And we just want more of that. Dredd 2 should be more of the same acting skill and action. And we would hope for even more craziness in the forms of exploding ammunition and chaos. Of course. Dredd 2 could also bring in Judge Death as Carl Urban's biggest foe, which is someone that Urban also brought up as a potential villain in either the series or sequel movie. Fans around the world would also love to see Judge Death come into the picture, as would we. Hell yeah. Urban also knows his stuff when it comes to the source material, further providing that he is the right man to play Judge Dredd for the foreseeable future. So, there you have it. Nobody else wants to see Judge Dredd recast. The fact that we're getting Carl Urban back, and, you know, the one thing that we don't know is, shit, is the people that are doing the show the same people that are doing the movie? Because if so, then you should definitely have Carl Urban because he's going be, to be the thing that bridges the gap between Dread 2 and Mega City 1. If it's all done by the same people. I don't understand why you would have an actor or two actors playing the same role for two Judge Dredd properties that are created by the same people. And Carl Urban is good whether he's doing movies or TV shows. So he can transition to both. Why not keep him on board to do the whole thing? But uh, it's great to hear Carl Urban's back. With, you know, just waiting to hear more about what's going on with Dread 2 or Mega City 1. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all that we have. You guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Are you interested or excited to know that Carl Urban is back as Judge Dredd? And hopefully the ball can start rolling on Dread 2 and then we'll get Mega City 1 and boom, we can have some good entertainment in the form of Judge Dread. Like I say, you guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And as always, it's your boy 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media and I'm out. Peace.